All right, the second one, I would like to show you the some process of uh, variable printing. So the variable printing uh, is now available from Raster Link 7. And the Raster Link 7 currently supports uh, TS100, JV100, and UJV100. So, you know, only 100 series. From what I understand, uh, there will be uh, more printer available for Raster Link 7, such as existing UJF Mark II and uh, probably Mark I, JFX200 and UCJV300, uh, in order to support the new feature with existing product. Uh, variable printing is introduced for two main applications. The first one is uh, printing a numbering card, uh, like a name card or security tag, as it's shown in uh, illustration on the display now. So, which has the same background data, but it's got a different photo, different name, and each numberizing of uh, you know, each person. Uh, the second main application would be a uniform sportswear printing, like the same uniform design which for uh, you know, any sports, which has a different name on the top and different uh, the numbering on the center of a uh, uniform. So this may be uh, the main application. Please don't get it long. Uh, you know, by supporting uh, variable printing on Raster Link 7, um, there are already uh, people using the same functionality either through from a different application, different software, or maybe CorelDRAW, which supports a similar. So this is just the update from Mimaki that whichever the new entry, uh, new business entry people for printing, or if someone wants, doesn't want to invest, uh, you know, those software, but you can do the same thing with Mimaki, even the workflow is different. Let me just show you uh, what, uh, how it works, basically. So what I have is I just made a couple of uh, photos of an animal. So I'm gonna just make, you know, I'm gonna just want to make animal stickers, uh, sorry, animal uh, card design for individual animals. So what do you need to have for this uh, the design uh, for uh, variable data is basically Excel spreadsheet, Illustrator, as well as the uh, raster link. So the Illustrator is for making a background data. So I've got only a background data made, so I will show you later. So I'm gonna show you how you make the, uh, the variable database, variable print database. So this is just a simple Excel spreadsheet I have. Just has a three different uh, column, which says what image to print and what name to put and what number to put, right? Um, this is for uh, just an example, but just for reference, how many different items you can you can put? It's up to thirty. So if you want to put a name, or if you want to put a first name and last name separately, if you want to put the ID, email address, phone number, blah blah blah, or a date of birth, you know whatever the thing, you can put up to thirty different items on the same uh, same database. How many different design you can make? It's up to 1,000, right? So you can put in the same data, uh, in a, uh, one database, you can put up to 100,000 uh, people's name. If you have more than 1,001 people, you want to put a, you want to make a uniform or name card. Unfortunately, you need to make the uh, in a similar database for more than two in order to support you know, more than 1,000 uh, the names. Just answering Johnson's question in a couple of weeks ago, does 1,000 name card means do we use the uh, space or do we do raster link seven supports putting more than 200 jobs at the same time? 
My answer is Raster Link 7 are only limited still 200 jobs. However, putting 300 or 500 or 1000 names in a variable data still recognize as a one job as a Raster Link 7. So don't worry about those numbers for variable data printing. So what I put here is uh, image. So doc image, cat image, duck image, and pig image. Just put the, you don't need to, you know, uh, put everything in the same folder as long as it has uh, an address of a location in, uh, in a drive. It can be USB drive, it can be a network drive, as long as it's got a drive number and a location and up to, uh, down to uh, the file name, the raster link will recognize it the day, as in the database. And put the name and ID, right? Then, before I uh, the I load this database into raster link, there is a little conversion process is required for Excel spreadsheet. Because Excel spreadsheet, uh, the default is XLS, XLSX uh, extension. So we just save, we just need to save this as a comma spread, uh, whatever, which is CSV file. So make sure you select CSV UTF number eight, comma delim uh, delim uh, delimited, right? And save. And now you can close this. The next step is once you save this in a CSV file, right click, select and open with Notepad. Because there is uh, another conversion, the data conversion process is required. What do you do is from a file, uh, select Save As, and make sure it's got text document, uh, sorry, uh, all file. And for encoding, it must be UTF-8. So select UTF-8. Do not select UTF-8 with BOM, but just UTF-8, all right? And then save it. In case if something happened, let's just uh, change the name a bit. Uh, encode it and save it. So we've prepared a data for a database, animal card encoded.csv. Card template, I've just pre-made before. And uh, um, those photos of animals, right. Now it is ready to get the job loaded to raster link. Let me just delete the previous one. To begin with, uh, select file and open. So we just select a card template EPS, you know, made by uh, Illustrator whenever um, separately and open. So it's just, uh, you know, two colors of a uh, you know, card. I just put like a name and ID in our original design, just in case, you know, uh, just to be looked at. All right, once the background photo, the image is loaded, go to the icon, the menu on the right hand side, which is variable edit, click that. Uh, click the checkbox for variable edit on uh, left above corner. And click the folder icon just below. And then you just load animal card encoded, which we just converted to uh, converted from Excel spreadsheet. Okay. Then it's just uh, opens the uh, database on the editor here. 
what we do now is each column, each item's image, name, and ID, we need to put a location for that. Let's do images to put in the middle of, uh, sorry, just the left side, uh, left side from the center and the middle, the middle height. What you do is first define the size of photo to be, let's do 50 millimeters by 50 millimeters, right? In that case, it shows just a part of a photo, which still doesn't look good. What you do now is just to go middle bit of uh, the menu, which says a fitting menu. You just select a uh, maintain aspect ratio. So that way the entire photo is loaded with that size we, uh, we, we told to, we set up as a 50, 50 millimeters. If you want bigger size, you can edit that, but this size is applied to every single card. And then select a position. I tried to select a position manually by, uh, you know, just uh, dragging and dropping. It didn't work, you know, unfortunately. So we just need to set the position as it is. Just bottom of it, uh, it says a color. What it is, is in case the photo, the photo space is square, but the photo itself is a rectangle, then you have a white space on uh, both sides of a, uh, both sides of photo or top and bottom of photo. This is to uh, specify what color you want for those space. The default is black, but you can basically put any colors you want. Then just to make sure that each photos are loaded correctly. It looks okay. The second is name. For name, I want probably 40 millimeter times 30. Let's start with that. Then regards to those, um, the text, the font is important, so you can uh, select a font, which, uh, you know, it loads all the fonts uh, which is installed in Windows OS. So if you are adding the new font onto a Windows OS, it applies to this list as well. So if you want the font you want, then you can just download and install onto uh, Windows. Just put a... Uh, this one and select a position like that. And for ID. Yeah, you can just mark around uh, later on by yourself. Uh, after selecting all the positions uh, for the for the variable data, then what we do is go to a uh, job editor here. Before going to job editor, let me just clarify that the uh, the even you have a uh, five uh, data uh, database, the job is still kept as the uh, you know, one job, the single job. When you go to uh, the job editor, it will not show any uh, database thing. It just shows how the it just shows uh, you know how the, the template is there and how it's aligned. So if you want the uh, more spaces, you can just work on you know those things or nesting if you want. <laughs> 